hundreds of kilometers of war-damaged electricity cables in need of urgent repair. Since the liberation of the villages east of Mykolaiv in early November, these electricians have been working non-stop. The land around them is mined, a parting gift from the Russians. They're putting their lives at risk, but they are more motivated than ever. Here, around 60% of cables are damaged. That's why we have so much emergency work to do to restore the electricity supply. We are working segment by segment. It's laborious work made even harder by the freezing rain. Their trucks struggle to cope with the ankle-deep mud. With the temperature dropping, these electricians are working as hard as they can to restore power to the region. 90% of the villagers here are without electricity. Many of them have been without power now for nine months. Since October, the Russians have pulverized Ukraine's energy infrastructure and its storage facilities. Many of the trucks belonging to Mykolaiv's regional energy company have been destroyed by Russian artillery fire. Before they withdrew from the area, the Russians sacked the depot and trashed what they couldn't take. It's a picture from the first day after the occupation. Our office was a base for Russian occupied troops and you can see what left Russian troops after this visit. While proud of his teams, Vadim says he's well aware of the scale of the task ahead. We try to quickly return electricity to this city, to this village, but after that we have to completely rebuild this network because we make our work only to deliver electricity to this village, temporarily deliver, and after that we have to rebuild and we need a big investment. The total cost for the reconstruction of Ukraine after the war is estimated by the World Bank at around 600 billion euros, and that's just a provisional figure. Who knows how long this war will continue and at what cost?